hereby welcome you all on the behalf of the National Commission on the Rights of Child for the launch of three years strategic plan of the Commission and a policy brief on the multifaceted issue of child trafficking. This plan outlines evidence-based actions, collaborative partnerships and transformative initiatives that will inshallah shape the destiny of child rights enforcement in Pakistan. There is an important aspect that is also affecting the children, climate change. She mentioned the child trafficking. It's really several angles. And this strategic plan is bringing all of this together collectively and with some recommendation and how we can, we can address them. So um, it is an important document that we need to collectively support NCRC to move forward. We look at what was done and then based on that, we move forward, but to do that, we need to do it in a structured and organized manner in order to guarantee results and impact. I congratulate the Chairman NCRC, UNICEF and the partners, the civil society who have made tremendous effort in not only preparing this plan, but also making it a very useful document. The policy brief discusses in detail the issue of child trafficking in the country and attempts to provide conceptual clarity on the same. It further phrases as to how the issue is being dealt with under our domestic legal framework. I'm particularly impressed by the identification of the three strategic uh, priorities or portions of evidence and knowledge, partnership and transformation. These priorities provide a structured and holistic approach to address the complex challenges associated with enforcing child rights by focusing on evidence-based practices, fostering partnerships and embracing transformative strategies, the NCRC is laying a robust uh, foundation for inshallah lasting change. To further analyze the subject, we have experts in the field of trafficking with us today. Child trafficking may take many forms. And it's in that, done it for a variety of purposes, and it's not just limited to bonded labor. And I think civil society has one of the major role to combat trafficking in person in Pakistan. Both the convention and the protocol provides the basis for invoking international cooperation. Data collection was one thing that I that stood out for me that uh, the International Police Bureau can actually help out. The trafficking issue in, in, in general and the child trafficking issue in, uh, in specific 